First question. Convert the recurring decimal 0.29 where the 29 is recurring to a fraction. Start by labeling x as your recurring fraction, in this case 0 0.29. Now in its expanded form, it will be 0 0.29 that would go on to infinity. Now the first point it recurs at after 2, 9 is here. To move the decimal along to here I'm going to have to multiply this recurring decimal by 100. Multiplying the line above by 100 will now give me 100 x's because I've multiplied it by 100 is equal to 29.29 recurring which is 29.29229 going on to infinity. Now the layout in this case is very very important. So drawing a line underneath and subtracting the top from the bottom does the following. This 9 taking away from this 9 will obviously go as will the 2 and all the recurring points until I reach my integer values at the beginning. Leaving me with 99x's because 100x's take away an x is 99 equals 29 because my recurring values have gone. Dividing both sides by 99 leaves me with my final answer which is x is 29 divided by 99 as a fraction. Number 2. Prove that the recurring decimal 0.39 recurring is 13 over 33. Now it's prove which means we need to show it. We know the answer it's going to be 13 over 33 so let's lay out the question. x is equal to 0.39 where the 39 is recurring and this is 0.3939 going on to infinity. Now the first point it recurs again is after the first 0.39. The decimal is going to have to move 2 along so we're going to move the numbers by multiplying them by 100. Multiplying the entire top line by 100 gives me 100 x's which is equal to 39.39 recurring and again 39.39 going on to infinity. Once again the layout is paramount, the digits must line up and subtracting the 9's will vanish as will the 3's when I subtract. This means the recurring component here will also vanish. 100 x's take away an x is 99 x's. 39 take away nothing is just 39. So dividing both sides by 99 leaves me with x is 39 over 99. Now both of these numbers are divisible by 3 leaving me with the answer 13 over 33. So we've proved it. The next question in a similar format start with your x being 0 0.27 recurring where the 27 is the recurring component so I end up with 0 0.2727 going on. The first point it recurs at after 0 0.27 is here and to move my numbers along and get the decimal there I'm going to have to multiply this by 100 once again the whole line multiplied by 100 gives me 100 x's is equal to 27.27 .27 recurring 
which in its long expanded form is 27.2727 going on forever. Subtracting the two components, once again, being a subtraction and the same numbers above and below produces zero. So 100 X's take away an X, leave me with 99 X's and 27 is the only number remaining. Dividing both sides by 99 leaves me with X equals 27 over 99. Now I need to check if this fraction simplifies, which it does. So simplify it once by dividing by 3. The top number 27 divided by 3 is 9 and 99 divided by 3 is 33 check once again 9 and 33 are both divisible by 3 so my final answer is 3 out of 11 in its simplest form x is an integer such that it's between 1 and 9 and I need to prove that 0.0x recurring is x over 99 this time I'm not going to use x I'm going to use y so y is equal to 0.0x which is recurring and in this case it will look like this 0.0x 0x 0x going on forever the next point it recurs at after the decimal is here and to move the numbers along I'm going to have to multiply by 100 so the whole top line times 100 produces 100y equals, now it's 0x, point 0x recurring, which leaves me with 0x, point 0x, 0x, ensuring the digits are below each other, going on forever. Subtracting one from the other, I know the x's, when subtracted will produce zero, as will the noughts, leaving me only with my integer part of the solution. So 99 y's are equal to, I don't need this naught here, so it's just x, dividing both sides by 99. My final answer for my fraction will be the x as the numerator divided by 99 as the denominator. Convert the